Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we're making a Kingston Negroni. On the channel I've done so many Negroni variations but 100% I think this is worthy. If you want to check out some other variations then check out the link right there. Um, this one is created by uh, the partner in New York's pouring ribbons back in 2009 and, and it's, it's a very very simple variation instead of calling for a gin in a Negroni so for those who don't know a Negroni is gin sweet vermouth and Campari instead of the gin you call for a Jamaican rum specifically Smith and Cross uh, which I've never tried before but I do know it's a, a very strong, full flavored Jamaican style rum. It's got a lot of funk. It's got a lot of hogo. Um, it sits at like 57, 57%. It's a strong bottle of booze. And the standard drinks in this is like 39.9. The standard, a normal bottle of booze that sits about 40% is like 22 standard drinks. So it's strong. It's very strong. Um, and I thought I'd try it on camera as well to uh, get, get my initial reaction because I've been excited to try this. It's, it's not readily available in Australia. Um, I, I've been sussing out like five different retailers online and subscribed to their notifications to try and get a bottle of this for like the last six months. No one stocks it. I ended up buying it from the UK, importing it in, spending an absolute fortune on this bottle. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. <laughs> that my wife doesn't know about. Um, basically, when I buy something overseas and import it into Australia, we have to pay the Australian taxes on it, even though that there's already taxes paid in the UK. So it ends up being quite an expensive bottle. I believe this would have been... <laughs> How much? How much? Um, probably... Cost... Uh, maybe 40 pounds 100 Australian dollars plus 70 what? Australian dollars to import it maybe it's, it's close to 150 Australian dollars uh, for this bottle for those who don't know it's a Jamaican rum by a London company so from what I understand is this uh, London company has been involved in the rum trade for for hundreds of years and well here we go so smith and cross jamaica rum contains only wedderburn and plumber pot still distillates so for those unfamiliar with distillation pot distillation um, comes out as a lower percentage and gives a fuller flavor spirit whether it be a whiskey or a rum so this should be full of flavor but um also Want to give a shout out to the guys from the Rum Tribe. I've recently been getting into like full flavored rums, Jamaican rums, Barbadian rums. So this is four square and I've signed up to this Australian rum club, which is also quite expensive. And my, my wife behind the camera is, <laughs> is, is uh, glaring at me. Um, so for anyone in Australia that really loves rum and that loves intense flavored rums, check out the Rum Tribe. I believe it's rumtribe.com.au and you sign up to a monthly subscription. This is not a sponsored video by the way, but I've signed up personally and I really like their rums. So this particular one is for Foursquare, Saga City and they were the first people in Australia from what I know to actually get this particular Barbaden rum in stock. So, onto the cocktail itself, the Kingston Negroni, which calls for Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. If you don't have Smith & Cross, if you can't get access to it, you can use a, a different um, Jamaican rum. But, from what I hear, this is potent, full flavored, funky, uh, like a lot of Jamaican funk, so therefore it's going to be very different if you use a different Jamaican rum, but you can at least try it. Ooh. Yeah. It's like a lot of um, overripe banana. A 
that's a delicious rum. It's rich, it's bold. Um, even though it's 57%, it doesn't, well for me, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like it's 57%, but it's rich, funky, overripe banana. Let's actually make a drink with it. Now that I've been waffling for a good five minutes. So it is just a Negroni. I'm doing equal parts. So 30 mil, one ounce. Key difference is, instead of a gin, I'm using Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. Sweet vermouth. Uh, this is Adelaide Hills, so it's local to me, but Torino style. So it's an Italian style sweet vermouth. And to finish off my bottle of Campari. So all 30 mil, one ounce. Give it a quick, short stir. Is that, is that cool? Okay, sweet. And then garnish with a twist of orange. So they have a Kingston Negroni. That is well different from a classic Negroni. Um, obviously using a spirit that's like a good 17% stronger. There's a lot more like sugary molasses like that you get that banana funk I don't know how else to explain it from apart from like Jamaican funk so they don't they don't chill filter this particular bottle they want to keep as much flavor in it as they can uh, this particular rum sorry um, I don't know how to explain it it's funky it's intense it's bold Lots of tropical, funky fruit, ripe banana. I think this is, a, this is a good. I can appreciate it because I can appreciate this particular rum, but I would prefer a classic Negroni. Let me know what you guys think. If you have a bottle of Smith & Cross, if you have a different Jamaican rum, let me know all the details in the comments below and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Too much? Tell me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. It was great. Huh? Nothing wrong with it. No. You're lying to me. No. You're still recording. Yeah.